Cover pages, also known as landing pages, have the header and footer removed. This is so that as the visitor is scrolling the page, the only options they have on the page are the click-through actions that you want, and they're not getting distracted by the other pages on your site. This is often used for sales pages or freebie opt-in pages and things like that. In Squarespace 7.0, you had the option to add a cover page, but you were quite limited on the template that Squarespace had for you. And in 7.1, that option isn't there at all. But what you can do is add a regular page to your site, whether that's in the linked section or the not linked section. And then you can use some CSS magic in order to hide the header and footer on that page. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you inside of this video. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I help Squarespace designers push past the limitations of the editor using code. So let's jump in. Here you'll see I have a Squarespace 7.1 site, but this will also work with Squarespace 7.0 and both Squarespace 7.1 in the original version and also with Fluid Engine. It's all the exact same process. What you're going to do is go to Pages and go to the page that you want to remove the header and footer on. This can be a regular page in the not link section or any of the other pages in your main navigation. So let's say I want to remove it from my take action page. So here's my take action page and I want to remove the header and footer. I'm going to go to that page and select the gear icon next to the page and click on advanced. Now inside of here, it assumes we're using HTML, so we have to add some code to tell it we're using CSS by putting style tags. So you have an open style tag and then a closing style tag. And inside of that, you're going to tell it to select the header and, in code an and is a comma, so the header and footer. And then we're gonna do an open bracket display none and a closing bracket and then click save and you should now see that your header has been removed as well as your footer on both desktop and on mobile as well now that you know how to create a cover page inside of squarespace check out this next video on everything you need to know in order to set up a newsletter inside of squarespace